Hello, how are we all? Welcome to Diamond Painting by Cindy. Thank you all for joining me. Hello, Taryn, Faith and Carla. Um, great to have you all with me again on my Saturday morning. How was Christmas? How are the times with family? Um, how are we going this week? So um, for us, we've had a quiet week and it's been good um, trying to catch up with our family and grandkids. So um, I've certainly got a lot of painting in. I had Monday, Tuesday off work and um, was able to get a number of hours in. So I'm very excited that I have finished my sky this morning. Yay! <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm super stoked. I'm on countdown one more week at work and then I'm on a cruise to New Caledonia and Vanuatu. So I am very much looking forward to um, that week off with Bruce. Yep, indeed, we certainly did. So thank you, Carla, um, and thank you all. So um, Faith, I know that's probably a hard time for you with your friend's daughter um, but I hope that you were able to have some uh, enjoyment during the uh, the last week since we last spoke um, and thank you for the belated birthday wishes uh, let me know what has been going on um, just a reminder as well to uh, not only our regular viewers but we've got a few new um, silent viewers on at the moment to jump on to Facebook um, and post your updates on today's stream. So um, those that are new, let me jump on to show you the link or the, the address. Um, so Facebook diamond underscore painting underscore by underscore skin, Cindy. And when you go on to um, that today, you'll actually see that I have a post um, that um, you can upload your whips onto and we'll share them during the stream. So um, jump in and do that uh, throughout, throughout the stream and we'll have a look at that a little bit later on. Um, uh, it's really great news, Faith, that she was able to um, be released from hospital. That, that's that's a little bit of comfort, I guess, at the time of year that we were in. So um, that is awesome. Um, I don't really have too much uh, other news uh, since we last spoke. It, it was all about um, catching up with the, my children, my grandchildren, um, and then a little bit of R&R &R on my canvas uh, for the rest of the break. So um, it has been wonderful. Um, it was only three people at work, so I was able to get quite a number of things done and achieved and I uh, feel in a much better place and the weight of the world is not on my shoulders in terms of um, a workload before I take leave at the end of next week. Um, what else? After today's stream, um, Luke, my son, and Bruce, my husband, and I are heading out to have a uh, lunch and then we are watching avatar 2 so very excited to see what jake sully's been doing for the last 10 years um but we get to watch that in gold class so i'm uh, very excited about um doing that so that'll be a bit of afternoon r and r um post post a few comments um on what you guys have been um doing so we can we can chat about those um, thank you for those that are doing posts already in Facebook. My screen is popping up with some notifications. So um, thank you so much. I am going to uh, flip over onto my painting screen because I am um, on the bottom half of my tractor canvas now. So I am doing what I call the autumn fall uh, ground cover so I've got lots of oranges browns yellows um, so it's it's pretty pretty exciting stuff so um, I only put a few down to start me off make sure my camera was all all good on this lower section uh, Faith you've been using your new Cricut cutting machine oh, I have definitely seen those they are very cool and very crafty 
um, you are welcome to share any of those in um, the diamond painting uh, page as well and I can I'm happy to share any with the team if you'd like um, that's up to you but uh, I have definitely seen that they they are very cool so excuse me uh, good on you for having a, a fun time with those Carla look at you go texting and talking with a guy awesome oh but you don't know maybe I should have not got too excited at the first bit um, we will talk on the phone or text and then I won't hear from him for several days. He asked me out for this coming Monday. And then I've not heard from him several days. Oh, Makes me wonder if he is in a relationship. Seems really nice. Just trying to be cautious. Yeah, of course. You need to you need to be cautious. Tread carefully. You don't you don't know who people are until you have had a chance to get to know them a little bit. So yeah, certainly don't rush. It's a shame that you're not hearing from him. Um yeah like me i guess my first thought i like you i suppose my first thought was does he have a few people he's trying to date and get to know at the same time and i don't know maybe that's a thing at the moment that you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket and you you do get to um you know catch up with new potential partners um throughout the week but it's a shame that it's radio silence. Uh, it doesn't take much to do a message here and there. Um, anyway, good luck to you. Certainly keep us posted. I hope that um, things look up there for you and, and you get to to know him. And, and if he's the one, then that's terrific. And if not, enjoy getting to know him until it's no longer enjoyable to get to know him. <laughs> but um, we're certainly thinking of you, Carla, and all the best um, in that little endeavour. Not much diamond painting, Faith. No, that's okay. I did see, um, I did catch up on Chris and Mel's um, streams on their YouTube replay. So um, I have sort of seen um, some of the posts through there when they share their stream as well. So um, I know that you have finished your um, friend's dog or your mum's dog. Um, not the most enjoyable one for you, uh, but hopefully you'll, you'll get the love back into some of your own chosen prints um but now of course you've got your your cricket to to have a bit of a go with as well um thanks for posting those pictures we will have a little little look um later in the stream so thanks faith and taryn you've been diamond painting had to take your son for another blood draw yesterday oh they couldn't be used that's a shame yeah i bet he feels like a little pin cushion right now with being jabbed with needles all the time so hopefully um, that's the last blood um, withdrawal and um, they can do all the tests and provide some answers and hopefully uh, you and Gabe will be able to make some plans as to next steps uh, good on you with starting a new DP um, that's excellent Faith good job all right let me grab a color what are we going to do here I think we're going to go with what well, looks like a V on my screen, but it's actually because it's sideways, a sideways arrow. So I'm going to do that, but continue to post and I will keep a little eye on those as well. But, um, oh yes, I'm, you know, I only had three colors in my sky for most of it. Um, and I would have thought I would have loved how quick and easy it was to not have to change colors all the time, but it actually became pretty boring. So um, as you can see in this tiny little square, which is one inch by two inches, <laughs> I've got who does the colours have to contend with. So, um, fun games. I can't even line up where my checkerboard goes. But, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be, be a little bit more exciting for me now that I can change colours. and Yeah, funny. Sometimes I like the one colour, but... I think it was just because the print's so big, it was just too much. Too much got bored. You hate colour blocking. Yeah, look, it's... I mean, I'm all, I like I like to do checkerboard. Um, but, you know, I also like to have that break up in, in colours. Let's try F. I don't even know what F is. There it is there. 
you also hate confetti. Yeah. I know my the actual body of the tractor. Um, I think my prints um, 52 colors and it was like 46 colors in just the tractor alone. I was like, oh my goodness, that was pretty heavy confetti. But when you step back and have a look, it's really hard to see um, that there were so many colors involved, but they were blended so nicely together for the print. I tried mucking around with the camera again this morning because I feel like you can't see the actual color definition as well as I can see it. Um, but I just, I can't work out the brightness and the contrast and the whatever, the saturation and all these other things because it just gets a bit messy and then it gets blurry and then I go, oh my goodness, it's too hard. Cancel and reset. <laughs> But they are um, quite bright and vivid colours at the moment in these oranges and browns. All right, you do one line at a time, Taryn. <laughs> Is that what you're sort of saying? Um, you would prefer to change colors all the time and actually work one line at a time. I think I saw that with your Ninja Turtles. Do one line and the next line and then the next line. So it's like you do change all your colors because you just want the most perfectly straight line. I didn't get to take advantage of any of the um, deals that Home Craftology had. Um, did you guys uh, jump on and take advantage of those? Yeah, that's what you meant, Taryn. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, yeah, so did you guys get any really good super deals that they had going? Um, I just have so many prints that, well, not compared to some of you, and that I've sort of holding back and just going, no, don't take advantage, don't take advantage, just... Order when getting close to when I need it. Um, five. Yeah, so this is like oh, you can't because it's on a green a green tray. It's quite a deep brown this one, but I don't think it's going to come out that way on the camera. Anyway. I'm sure I'm worrying about nothing. And are uh, you all working on prints now while we're online together? Or you've got a glass of wine in your hand and you're just relaxing? Have a sip from me if you do. <laughs> I have a coffee. It's New Year's Eve for me today and obviously for you tomorrow. Um, we are having a quiet one in. Does anyone have any plans for tomorrow night's celebrations? You tried not to order color, took advantage of the 50% and got a Christmas print. Oh, with the one with the corgi. Nice. So you got a couple on the way. A uh, cu couple on the way, Carla, so that's good. And um, will the corgi for your sister, is that just in preparation for next year's Christmas or birthday or just because you can? And Taryn, Taryn, you didn't take advantage of the deal, didn't do any orders. Is that what your note refers to? And just got some snacks. Sparkling grape juice. <laughs> nice. Uh, Faith, 
You'll be asleep by midnight. Yeah, we will too. Yeah, yeah. I think it comes to a point in time, and I don't know, maybe I'm going to generalise here, but it's just another day. We just stop saying 2022 and we start saying 2023 instead, but it's just another day. Um, but I guess maybe that's just not me living life to the fullest or celebrating enough, but yeah, I, we've just never really celebrated it. Um, in a big way at all for New Year's Eve. All right, that's almost it for my tweezers. Right, it's the same colours as her recent corgi that passed away. Okay, just because you're such a loving sister. Good on you, Carla. Um, well, that would be lovely. Nice little... If it looks so similar to her corgi, that will be either a nice memory um, where she will link the two together, um, but certainly it would be a lovely print nonetheless. Literally just another day? Yeah, I agree. We both agree. <laughs> A group of about 15 friends getting together to celebrate. Oh, that's nice, Carla. I don't think I have 15 friends. <laughs> Probably why I don't party an awful lot. <laughs> um, and Taryn um, most likely won't make it to midnight. No, no. <laughs> yeah, why did I pick up the fives? I actually don't see any fives on my canvas now. Silly Billy. Funny, I am not a dog person. Um, I'm such a cat person. Did I ever tell you guys I got bitten by a dog? Actually, I got bitten by two dogs. I think that's why I'm not a dog person. They scare the bejeebas out of me. We do have some in the family that are very well trained. And we have some, not mine, my um, sister-in-law has two dogs very well trained. My daughter has two dogs not so well trained and actually they have um sisters to each other so my sister-in-law one of her dogs is the sister to one of my daughter's dogs and it's their chalk and cheese um so it's clearly how they are treated by owners um but yeah no i just can't i can't do i can't i don't do dogs I'm so sorry Is a corgi though, I, I, like I know what a corgi is, um, but is a corgi, they're supposed to be a bit more loyal than um, anything else, right? Is it more the loyalty of the corgi that you guys like or just the, the look of it? I think they, I like, if I was going to say I like anything about them, I like that they're small. <laughs> they're small dogs. Um, yeah. A long hair corgi wow super sweet okay well if you have any in your album or you can quickly grab any from your sister's facebook page if she's posted any grab those throw them in now stream um throw them in the diamond painting by cindy and we'll look at them during the stream <laughs> Is the music not too loud? And if you don't hear it, I'll turn it up, but it's just some meditation music. Loyal, right.
Yeah, see, my my family are into uh, bulldogs and um, uh, what's the name? Maybe that's not the right name. Not a bulldog. A um, oh my goodness, Rottweiler, Rottweilers, <laughs> um, and bull mastiffs, and I just go, oh no. Not for me, thank you. But I guess I use them more as um, security dogs in my family's case anyway. Music is perfect, excellent, thank you. Right, well, it's mean. I think they're mean, right? Not all, okay? Certainly the ones that I have to deal with, besides my sister's ones. He will come up, sniff, bow, and then sit. Um, but, yeah, my daughters, oh my goodness, they have to um, lock their dogs up before I get out of the car. They just freak me out. Um, they are not well trained at all. All right. Well, that little bit didn't take that long, did it? I didn't put that little one on silent, did I? <laughs> My bad. All right. So we've got a few, a few little prints to look at. I wish I knew everyone that's online. When you have, uh, I don't even know if it includes me. I'm not really a viewer, so I figured not. Um, but we really only have the th three of you and myself, and so there's four others floating around. Um, but it's not the first time we've had people that are on, on but not chatting. Just I love to have more people to chat, get to know. Welcome to the family. We will jump over onto Facebook once I finish these couple. Let's jump on over to Facebook and check out what you guys have posted for today. Let's have a look here. Oh, is that the start? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> jumped in. 
jumped in the water, caught the fish, or you think maybe he stole it from someone. That's too funny. Yeah, what a cutie. See, now, oh, well, that's, let me zoom in. Oh, that's not going to work. Let's not do that. Um, yeah, so that's very cute. I think I like the fact that they're so little. And, um, yeah, beautiful. All right, Carla, your whip. Your animals of the world. So if I zoom in on this one again, how does that look? Hmm. 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 That is better. So your animals of the world, and then you've also given us the original to look at as well. So thank you for showing both. So doing this lower quadrant down here in your Arctic as well as your borders. Uh, I, again, I forget, you can't see my mouse. <laughs> That's coming together nicely, Carla. Excellent. Oh, that's your cricket, Faith. Oh, yeah, that's a nice little um, sign there for Sarah. Oh, let me click on it, my bad. Yeah, very good. Very, very cute there, Faith. So it's all about um, the decals, right? The the stickers. You have to transfer it on, I think is what I saw on the pictures. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool, hey? And what will the... I don't know what they are, spades, leaf, the picture, um, or the, the shape of the nameplate. So what will that be used for? Is that going to be an, an ornament for the Christmas tree next year? It's more like a bauble. Oh, we've got comments on the comments. Oh, my bad. Let's have a look. Oh, Corgi. Oh, that's not, is that Corgi? Maybe it is. That is just beautiful. Is that the long hair one you're talking about? That's what it is, your long hair corgi. Christmas ornaments, yeah, thanks. Um, so this is just your stepsister's corgi faith. I love the orange bow tie. <laughs> Have a go. Oh, that's a bit too far. Have a go with that. Oh. <laughs> See, so they could almost convert a non a non dog lover to a dog lover. Look at those eyes. You almost just want to touch his touch his head and ruffle ruffle between the ears. <laughs> Chester. Yeah, beautiful. And your red door from Do What Makes You Sparkle, Taryn. I like that one. I love those colours. They are excellent. And you got a little puppy down there too near the door. Yeah, that's excellent, Taryn. Wow. Chester being a snuggler. Well, see, I could maybe let him snuggle on my lap. <laughs> Finally done, Taryn. Yeah, well, it looks great. Um, make sure I didn't miss any comments on comments. Oh, here's one in here. Oh, that's Carla's actual original. Awesome. Oh, thank you guys for sharing. That didn't take that long, unfortunately. Let's get back over here. Actually, no, I want to do some more painting. have to find another little zone to do. <laughs> Let's pull it forward and have a look. Actually, let's cut some out first. Chester might be one to have um, made up in a custom colour. Oh, I'm sorry, Faith. Oh, my apologies. I was hopeless on names last week. And look, I've just fallen into the same problem today. 
Um, Faith, it might, it might be a good one to have a custom of Chester. As long as you're petting him, he'll sit. Oh, yeah. See, my cat sits on my lap for hours in the evening. I love it. Just nice and relaxing. Makes me content. She's content. Yeah, right. You plan to get a custom eventually. Nice. That one, I think, would be amazing to do. Maybe that one would float your boat a little bit better than your friend's dog. moved my camera so you can see me that well whoopsie daisies that would be better gosh I can't remember what you guys said so Taryn um, are you painting right now? And Faith and Carla, are you painting right now? Or are you just watching? I feel very um, mindful that I go quiet when I'm painting. <laughs> That's in the wrong spot. Taryn, you are. Did you share your new print? I don't think you did. What are you working on now, Taryn? You're just watching, listening. All right. Good on your faith. Thank you. Um, Yes, faith. Thank you. I find it very... It's actually quite tricky to... It's actually quite tricky to do multiple things at once. Or am I just a simple blonde? I don't know. like uh, testing me my concentration in two places must not be that exciting to watch though unless you're watching the technique because you must see the top of my head more than you see anything else <laughs> Working on the bottom right corner, having a glass of wine. Oh, nice work. Go you. <laughs> Have a big coffee. Like the size of my head. <laughs> In fact, I'm just going to have a drink right now. <laughs> you just posted it. Let's have a little look-see. Let me refresh my feed over here. Oh, wowzers. All right, let's share this. This is what Taryn is working on, everyone. <whistles> Mermaid in the water? Mermaid? Hey Brandy, how are you? How's Evelyn Grace? Is she being a good girl? Yeah, that's awesome. So, um, what's on that? Can you do a whole picture, Taryn? Can you post a whole picture? Or too hard because you got it hanging off the side of the desk? And you got your drills on it. Oh, a woman being saved by Jesus. Ah, okay. Right. Yeah, that's going to be probably hidden a little bit. From 
Uh, Evelyn is asleep right now. Good on her. Give Mama a little bit of time to jump online with us. Good girl. <laughs> And uh, Brandy to catch you back up, I guess. Um, Christmas, New Year's. Did you have a wonderful Christmas? And do you have plans for New Year's? A quiet one because you're gauged by when Evelyn needs need you. <laughs> or do you have some celebrations for tomorrow night planned? Oh, Taryn, you've posted some more. I love those notifications. Nine comments show all. Let's see what it does. Posted what it will look like. Okay. Oh, well, Zuz. Okay, sorry. I missed that unless that's the one that you've just posted. Oh, good night, Faith. Thank you for jumping on. Take care and we'll chat to you next time. This is the um, image from Taryn of what the one she's working on will end up like. So I see. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool now that I see it all. Yeah, that's excellent, Faith. Um, Taryn, so sorry. They're quite gentle colours, aren't they? Very gentle. Oh, that's 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 awesome. Thank you for posting that, Taryn. Um, Brandy, your plans will be staying home. Had a wonderful Christmas. Yeah, where's Evelyn's this? Yeah, of course. <coughs> yeah, it's tricky with a newborn. You don't sort of necessarily always want to. Go too far from home if you can avoid it. Sometimes it's just the little comforts in life, not only for the bubba, but for the parents as well. What do we got going on here? I guess, Brandy, you possibly don't have too much time now to do any of your painting. You sort of rest when Evelyn rests or are you still running around trying to do washing and all kinds of household things while she's sleeping? Not so much now because it's late at night, but during the day. Yeah, hang up, hang up your tweezers and your pen for a little bit. <laughs> So I've got two, four, six, eight, ten colours on one tray and two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven colours on the other tray. So using 20, 21 colours right now in these little areas. Insane. Right, 
got? What have we got here? Take advantage of Gabe being on Christmas break to get all your painting done, Darren. I love that. <laughs> and Brandy doing one now, having some health issues. Oh, that's no good. Had a stroke back in March and still recovering from it. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. I, I don't think I realised that. I'm so sorry. Um... And of course, painting, whilst it's nice mentally and you get a great um, keepsake or gift afterwards, it's it's not crucial, right? It's um, you know, take care of your health and, and little baby Evelyn. But uh, hopefully you'll get on top of all of those things, um, Brandy, and, and um, it'll be easier to manage, I guess, as well. But... Um, Wow, nine months, that's a long time to still have some remnant effects of that. So I'm sorry that you are dealing with those. We all go through stuff, don't we? It's, it's hard. Like Life's hard. Doesn't need to be, but it is. My phone keeps going off. My husband's messaging. Sorry, mate. I'm streaming. <laughs> streaming with my peeps. My other family. Yeah, that's that's right. Stop bothering us. <laughs> oh, he'd be telling me he's on his way home from golf. Can I open the garage shed door? Am I ready to go to lunch? <laughs> Mate, I was ready at 6.30 this morning. <laughs> I couldn't go back to sleep once he'd gone. I tried for half an hour after he went to golf and I went, oh, you know what? I'm just going to get up, get ready, start painting. <laughs> I'm very ready. <clears throat> All right. Oh, every time he messages that stops my music. <laughs> Oh, it's just ridiculous. Let's just close some of these. Try again. Yeah, I think I'm going to lose on the whole music thing. I don't know why it does that. Sometimes it works perfectly. I think it's my son, if we're sharing the same thing. Plays games with my head. F. Here we go with some Fs.
and some tea. Mm, e, I packed E away. Goodness. Oh, maybe I didn't. Oh no, I didn't. Silly, silly sausage. gonna do away with the music for now that's just frustrating maybe I'll turn my phone off and back on oh Brandy you've taken a photo okay let's have a look for our little Evelyn. And you will post a pic of the DP you just did. Excellent. Carla, you can only have four colours at a time. Accident prone to spilling. Here is beautiful Evelyn. So content, so, so very gorgeous. All of her aunties are very proud of her brandy. <laughs> very beautiful. And let's see if you've posted your other print. Um, Not as yet. Right, we'll have a look at that in a moment. She is precious and beautiful. She certainly is. Oh, so you've just done it now. Uh, I thought I just refreshed, but I will try again. Just posted. Mm, I'm not seeing it. Oh, yes, I am. They've just come out of order. Oh, silly thing. All right, here it is. Here we go. Your waterfall. It's awesome. It doesn't say where the, I mean, it's probably just a makeup image, but um, where in the world? <laughs> oh, that's great. Great um, print, Brandy. Oh, that's cool. It still says one notification. But that may not be my diamond painting with Cindy. That may be me. <laughs> Waterfall looks wonderful. Congratulations. I'm looking forward to posting an updated tractor for you guys. Because uh, I'm so excited that my, my sky is done. My groundwork's coming together. And hopefully, I will be finished in the next month. I'm 
gonna see how I go I don't want to give myself a crazy deadline given I'm gonna be away for one week but I am around for the second week of my annual leave so I'm hoping to <laughs> be able to do some extended hours during that second week Um, who have we got? We've got six people online. So I'm going to go on the basis that most of you already know my story, <laughs> um, about David, but I received two pieces of mail this week, Thursday and Friday and, um, oh, sorry, Wednesday and Thursday. And on Friday, I tried to ring both of them, um, and I don't know if I'm overreacting on it being disgusting. Oh, it's life. Get over it. Mistakes happen. So let me elaborate. My day, uh, David passed away 22nd of November. Funeral 2nd of December. Was heavily working with the real estate to hand the keys back. Doing the final clean. Um, so that they wouldn't continue to take money out of his account. And my letter on Thursday was from the real estate that says, Hi David, this is a courtesy letter to remind you that your lease is due for renewal on the 2nd of February. Please complete the documents and let us know if you intend to stay or if you'd like to vacate. What the frick? That was letter number one. The letter that I received on Wednesday similar sort of vein I guess in terms of why am I getting this letter and it came from the memorial crem crematorium we know that this is a hard time for you and you may not have thought about the plans for David so reach out to us and talk to person XYZ to have a walk through our facilities decide if you'd like to um, have a plot or if you'd like David's remains to be cremated hello we did the freaking funeral on the 2nd December and you were supposed to cremate on the Monday thereafter and what's frustrating me is that I've left countless messages for them to say can I come and collect the ashes yet I thought this would have been done by now like what the is going on Australia <laughs> or is that just me going get over it sin it's coincidence that two people made mistakes sending you correspondence they shouldn't have sent I don't know I find it very bad anyway when I rang on Friday of course no one was around because everywhere's shut for Christmas our New Year's break so thank you for letting me vent, <laughs> but I just think that that's just wrong on so many levels. Okay, let me, now that I've got that off my chest, uh, let me catch up on some chat. Um, so Brandy, your waterfall is the third one that you finished. No name DP. Just got a packet from Amazon, starter pack. Yeah, nice. Well, it's certainly a good one. And uh, Brandy Carla was asking, because I went on my rant, so whenever you can respond in case um, Evelyn has stirred and woken, um, are you going to gift your waterfall? Or is that just going to be for you? Um... Yeah, Taryn, right? Like, hello, what the... F like, both parties I have been heavily liaising with. Anyway, I got it off my chest now, so thank you for letting me vent. <laughs> thank you too, Carla. Like, I just... It was a what the moment. That twice, day after each other. Like, what the... Um, I'm sure it's someone trying to do something but just not got the right attention to detail to dot the I's and cross the T's and cross match what's going on to know that 
those letters should never have been sent. And they were sent to David's house. We just got them because we went to Australia Post and put in a mail redirection to our address. So it's just ridiculous. Anyway, thank you, Brandy, for answering. The water pour is a gift for your mum. Beautiful. Excellent. I haven't gifted any of mine for some time, but um, I have it in mind to gift, especially this one. Um, and my, um, my garden one. I can't even remember what that says. Isn't that terrible? Life begins in the garden. Whew. Um, but yeah, I've got two that I want to send off to the States. So once, once this one's finished, I will have to really think about how I'm going to do that so that they're not damage during transit so i think i want to seal and roll in a mailing tube um, but i am so scared that when she unrolls it'll be missing a gem or two <laughs> but we'll see The one you just finished, Taryn, you mean your red door you gifted? Oh, that was a good red door too. In colour, it's hard to give sometimes after all the hours you project and you love it. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with them all though. I think I've got seven six or seven already just laying flat sealed sitting on our coffee table just here because i'm in the family room and uh, the family room's no longer the family room it's cindy's room <laughs> and it's on the coffee table and they're all on top of each other and then it's got some towels and sheets on top of it so when the cat jumps up onto the table she's not leaving her cat hair everywhere <laughs> but i don't have enough um as crazy it's going to sound i don't have enough wall space for all of my prints um so i really need to gift them or i was even umming and ahhing i mean really umming and ahhing um whether i think about going up to a market and uh, seeing if there's any interest because we have a a market that's about three kilometers away oh what does that mean for you i don't know 1.8 miles i think i think it's 600 miles to a kilometer uh i don't know what i'm saying anyway it's up the road three minutes <laughs> um and maybe there'll be some interest um from people that go to the market perhaps i don't know I don't know how to price them or anything, but I can't have them sitting on my coffee table forever. I've got to do something with them. And I've got the next one I want to do is my, um, the one that Chris and Mel are working on, which is the beach sunset. Um, so I've got that one to do as well. But that one is, that's also a gift. So we'll see. You're making the, the Christmas red door for your friend right from the beginning. Oh, good job. Yeah, that was a nice one. Do you guys have these trays? Oh, I can't, I can't show you. You know the, the big ones that you got the dividers in? I don't mind these so much. And now, I, um, Carla, getting back to where you said you only do four colours at a time because you're prone to knocking them over, you need to see if you can um, find the, these little cabinet drawer things that I've got because they're, like, really cool. And they were not very expensive and they don't take up that much room. Um, and you might be lucky enough to have a few more colours out and about. I'll show you again once I finish these couple of beads that i got left. 
or drills that I've got left, I should say. Um, orange. Oh, I hear my husband pulling up on our block to reverse his golf buggy into the shed. I realised last week as well, I happened to uh, re-watch the stream during the week. So firstly, my apologies on the background noise because that was actually really bad. It was also very bad that I got all the names completely wrong, so apologies. Um... <laughs> But I didn't realise every time I was hitting mute, I actually wasn't hitting mute when I was talking to him. <laughs> I was hitting turn the computer sound off, which is my speakers, not my microphone. <laughs> so <laughs> apologies for that. I was like, oh, Sin, that's embarrassing. You've, you've not had that issue before. Anyway, first world problems, right? <laughs> All right, that area is done. So I am going to move these back where they belong and show you my little trays again. Let me catch up on the, the chat too. So, um, Carla, you love the beach sunset as well. Yeah, I think it's going to be cool. I've got the same size they have, so it's going to be excellent. Taryn, you have one as well. You have the same beach sunset. Um, all right, so let's have a look at this. Hopefully this will work. I can't zoom out, of course, now, but that's okay. It might not even look at the right colour either. Hmm... Actually, I wonder if I can edit my... I probably can't. Oh, the cables are all caught. But, you yeah, see how I look at the colour? That's crazy. But yeah, I get to hold lots of colours all at once. On a tray. Over here. Amazing how dark that looks, maybe because it's not lit up very much behind me um, versus some of the other colours that we've got on the go. Anyway, I'm not going to paint any more today. I've got to pack up that bit. Oh, you like the the good idea? Yeah. I like, I like the trays that have multiples. Um, Oh, <laughs> these ones. Um, I think these ones are pretty cool too. I don't, I mean, I need to top all of my trays up. They're getting pretty low. But no, they're pretty good. What else we got cooking? Okay. Oh, you have one of those. You have the tray. You don't have the beach sunset. Right. Gotcha with you. <laughs> um, what are we time-wise? Oh, we're just over an hour, which is wonderful. And I would could go on forever but i am mindful that bruce is now home and he is going to want to go out for lunch and um make sure we get all of our little nibbles ready for um for the movie so have we got any last minute thoughts before i bid you all a good evening i'll give you a quick moment in case you want to do any more posts i will turn my light off So I am here next week and then the week after I'm in the middle of the Pacific Ocean so not going to be on then but I'll definitely chat to you guys all next week anyway all right there's no last minute little posts so going to wind it all up today thank you so much for joining me I really appreciate it absolutely Carla thank you so much prayers to Taryn Gabe um, hopefully you get the results you need for Gabe Brandy we love you all the best with uh, Evelyn Grace she's so beautiful look forward to some more photos next week 
thank you i will speak to you all again before i go on my trip so i speak to you next week and um we are off to see our blue friends from avatar so take care thank you all so much for your time and until next time stay safe see ya Goes well this when you leave it in the fridge. Oh, I've got a quick remote along. Who said it in the fourth seat? I don't know, it's not. All good. Nice and sexy. Yeah. Where are you? Good. Thirty five dollars to sit down on the next seat. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe they're all just on the outside. What? Ants. I don't see any on the inside, but I just had three on the outside. Hmm. Then why would you put it over on the side where the ants are? Oh, 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 look at them all over there. Oh, look at them all over there. Oh, oh there's one on my glass Connor said no, he's spending, he's got to be with family. Are we going to keep, get rid of this one? Oh, it's a weedy, please. No. Have a look at this one. I rechanged this camera. Oh, I'm still live. <laughs> Come and have a look at my son. <laughs> All right, we're gonna say, we're gonna end now. <laughs> See ya.